ball goes long. LeBron over the top. If you freeze frame that picture, it looks like a specky. G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I have a bit of a different video. AFL is one of the most unique sports in the world. And some of the moments in AFL are very specific to our sport. Or are they? I've put together a few clips of the best non-AFL AFL moments. The first clip I've got here is a ultimate Frisbee player taking one of the marks of the year. He gets the sit, he gets the hang, and he gets the ride. If that was taken inside 50 at the AFL, the whole crowd would be standing. It is just the perfect sit and the perfect ride from this ultimate Frisbee player. Almost a little bit of tunneling as well. And it's just, such, it's so smooth. He like smoothly just sort of rides his face <laughs> into the turf. It's one of the most smoothest dismounts I've ever seen. And I love it. After seeing this clip, it reminded me of an ultimate Frisbee clip that I used to watch years ago. I used to be a massive fan of Brody Smith, the ultimate Frisbee trick shotter. Now this is him in a game. I'm pretty sure it's all even. I think this is to either level it or win the game. Siren's gone, ball goes long. Brody Smith takes one of the biggest contested clunks you'll ever see. It goes long, they need a catch. Coming in from the back, Smith! Gets a little bit of second bounce, gets a little bit of ride, and I'm pretty sure that was to win the game. How about this? Look how high he gets. A little bit of ride there, and that is unbelievable. That is a quality pack mark. Ultimate Frisbee provide a lot of these examples. Here's another one of a little bit of double lift, a little bit of jump for the young boy. Similar situation, long frisbee forward. Who's gonna get there? The yellow cap says, how about that one? That is a massive grab. <laughs> I think ultimate frisbee provide you with that moment because the hang that the frisbee has gives you a real chance to set yourself. But the frisbee sits up so you can really time your run and get the grab and that's one of, one of the great grabs we'll see. Here's a clip of a bloke taking a screamer on the shoulders of someone and then headering it through for a 90th minute equaliser in a game of soccer. Have a look at the replay of this. He jumps on his shoulders. He is so high up and he headers it through. He gets the specky and then he gets the header. It's an unbelievable piece of highlight. Look at this. Look at the jump. That is absolutely massive. And he's finished off the header. One of the best soccer goals you'll ever see. Another specky highlight. You can't go past LeBron James. He's done it all. And doesn't this just look like an absolute hanger? Ball goes long. LeBron over the top. If you freeze frame that picture, it looks like a specky. He's on his shoulders with the ball in his hands. Would have been one of the all-time great clunks. He jumps over the bloke and then finishes it off with the dunk. That just looks like a specky. The, the, the way the knees went looks like a specky. So that is an unbelievable highlight from the king, LeBron James. I don't know whether to compare this to a bump or compare this to a tunneling incident or compare this to a high marking fall. But Sam Harper in the cricket is running hard and fast down to the non-striker's end and gets his legs absolutely taken out from under him and creates one of the all-time great commotions. Oh, Harper, huge collision. Sammy Harper trying to get the single over the top. It's almost like a failed hanger. He just gets tunnelled. It's a tough bump from Alice. Goes hard and low. That's a terrible incident. And um, hopefully Sammy Harper is okay, because that looks shocking. After that incident, I typed in cricket collisions, and I saw a few of them. And if I'm going to be honest, they're not that much fun to watch. Look at this. Both eyes on the ball. He's been absolutely flattened, that bloke. That is horrendous. That was shocking. These two guys went so hard at the footy. Both eyes for it, both brave. Oh... Oh, it's a head clash too. That is just hospital 2.0, those poor fellas. 
Let's have a look at the next one. Another cricket collision. Oh, that's low and hard. That is just bone on bone, head on head, hip on hip. Both eyes for it again. Where's the talk? Mine, 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 mine. Oh, that is, that's horrible. We hate those collisions in our sport, let alone seeing them in a non-contact sport. That's horrific. I think this is Brendan McCallum. Back with the flight, eyes for the footy. He has absolutely crunched his teammate. Oh no, that was an elbow across the head. One sport probably closest to AFL out of all the sports that I'm showing today is rugby. And how funny is it in super rugby, I'm pretty sure it is, when they have the throw-ins and they all just stand on top of their shoulders. Look at the height, look at the height there. That is absolutely massive. They all just get lifted up on the shoulders. I wonder if that could be introduced into the AFL. Imagine kicking long to a pack and three or four people just lift Maxi Gorn up and he just gets his hand to it. You, you never know, it could be a good tactic. I don't think we can show rugby catches without showing Israel Folau highlights. Now obviously he played AFL eventually, but he used to take hangers every week. And here's one of them in slow motion against the Storm. The height that Israel Folau could get was unbelievable. And it's quite funny, if you watch NRL, they don't know how to take marks like that. Like, if they got taught how to take contested marks, one of the best tactics in NRL, I think, would be that field kick long over the top because you could get players like Israel Folau taking those strong contested marks, but they go up so uncoordinately. It's quite funny. Now, if I'm going to show that Israel Folau highlight, I need to show this one from the 2013 NRL Grand Final. Talk about a real mark of the year possibility. Roosters down to the Sea Eagles. Long kick over the top. And how about that for a fly? And you gotta get the try on the way down. So not only are you on the bloke's head, you gotta put the ball down for the try. Unbelievable set of skills. All right guys, that is it for another video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. A little bit different, a little bit, a little bit out there. If you guys have any non-AFL, AFL moments, send them to me on Instagram in the DMs. I'll be keen to have a look because I love highlights that remind me of footy that aren't from our sport. Anyway, guys, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone watching and I'll see you all very, very soon for some more content. Cheers.